Well, expect Finn Russell to be in the crosshairs of French defenders tonight, or this afternoon, I should say. He's got one Racing 92 teammate facing him this evening. 22 others, of course, who witness what he's capable of doing to defend two defences virtually reminiscent of that Grand Slam game 11 months ago when France beat England. There goes the hooker, that's Julien Marchand, just inside the Scotland 22. Fed on there to Greg Aldrich. Dupont. Another big carry, that time from Flamand, out from Dupont to another of the big fellas, that's Paul Willemser. There's Entomac, Pinot finding himself at first receiver. The Scotland line under siege, another big carry from Willemser. The heavy artillery being thrown at Scotland and Cyril by within half a metre. Can they get there this time? Dupont looks one way. Goes the other. Scotland have come offside. So here goes Moa Farner, a little skip. Good tackle from Turpilotu, but look at the white jerseys lining out here. And Roman Entomac, a sense of inevitability. Four minutes on the clock. France have their first try. What a start to the game that is for the French. The collisions, the momentum. Marchand again with a launch off the back, manages a half break through the tackle of Watson. Valencia again repels Hamish Watson. Numbers created on the outside, three men could have walked over in the corner. And this is the difference. If Nick Amateur Kelly is going to pass this on to Ben Whitehouse, oh. there could be problems here. That looks suspiciously like a shoulder to a head. Let's just listen into the conversation. Okay, ben. We line up on the screen now and ready. So that was just a run-in angle, and your best angles are coming up. So obviously we we do have a contact in the head, so we are in a head contact process, don't we? All right. The two Jamie. years ago they went down Jamie. to 14 Jamie. with 10 minutes remaining. It's a clear shoulder Not to the face, so we don't have a mitigation. Five. At the red card. Devastation for Brad Gilchrist. You can see on his face, he knows the situation. Yeah. He's left his teammates in. Damien Pinot got first run there, but in the end, the bounce beat him. But it's there for France. Dupont, the long pass out on the right hand. And now the white jerseys have got big numbers here. Entomac. Ethan de Mortier, a second try in eight minutes. And the man who simply couldn't stop scoring for his club, Lyon, has continued in the same fashion for France. Rugby, we talk about the bounce of a ball again, lovely play. Find space in the backfield, the bounce actually sits up for Stuart Hogg. But the counter up, the work in the deck, actually comes off the heel of Hugh Jones. Scotland down a man scrambling across the field. The three on two executed perfectly, straightened up by Intermac. And over he goes in the corner. Understood dejection for Hamish Watson. Yeah, it's a horrible irony, isn't it, when you consider how long he's been out and how his inclusion was expected to be so influential today. Well, George Turner's got it. Kyle Stain putting his shoulder in there. Mohamed Hawass is going to have to go away from there. And Hawass has come in from the side, although the referee was quite happy with that, that the ball was out, but now they need a scrum half. The referee's playing an advantage here to the Scots. Perhaps, as you might understand, the test match captain is anxious to try and uh, somehow create a scenario where it's 14 against 14, but... Well, it would appear that the referee has been listening to the Scotland captain. It's worth a look, he thinks. Okay, I'm ready at the screen. It's coming up now. Oh, well, it's Mohamed Hawass. Okay. Direct head contact. <laughs> Sorry, can we confirm the number? Yeah. It is Mohamed Hawass's okay. second oh. red card. Bonjour, bonjour. 
Oh, oh. oh and it's been poached, and Ramos is away and clear. And that is going to give seven points to France. Just when Scotland appeared to be getting themselves back into the match. Wonderfully read by Ramos. The initial attack repelled by Gail Fiku, the charge down. Forcing Scotland to regroup, and again, it's just the big zippy pass. They're very aware of Finn Russell taking the ball to the line. Smile on his face the whole way home for Tomo Ramos. Well read by the fullback. Picked off beautifully. Mo. The catch from the captain, Richie. France have to be on best behaviour. There's White. On to Russell and straight through the middle. It's Hugh Jones and Scotland do have their try. A remarkable match already after just 25 minutes is now a live contest again. I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Finn Russell again taking the ball to the line. Opting for a short runner, Hugh Jones. A wonderful line. French players asking Thanks, for that last pass to be checked. But the line was superb, <laughs> scything through the French back line. Cyril Bai, just having to bend his back a little bit for that one. There's Valatia. Willem Sidious squeezing it back, Cyril Bay again, with that little hint of a sidestep. Julien Marchand. No hands, no! Advantage! Penalty advantage to France. The advantage, France! Again, hands on the floor. You may have heard the referee saying hands on the floor. Hands on the floor. So inside the last five minutes of an extremely eventful first 40. He's bordering on understatement. Ramos just squeezes it inside that right hand upright. France up to 22, they lead by 15. Skuman. Go away! Well, once again, this France defence shaped by Sean Edwards. Doing its job. Richie. Play on. Ben White. Oh, and then a little shove from Moa Fana. Entomac looks up. Sees there are huge green spaces. Back goes Hugh Jones. He's under pressure. So we're into the red numbers at the end of the half. Well, through goes uh, Charles Olivon. But we were into the red numbers, and the referee yeah, may not have actually done it, but he was poised to blow his whistle. The crowd don't like it. But before Charles Olivon crossed the line, it was half time. It's half time. Didn't hear it. A slightly bizarre end to an absolutely <laughs> stunning and quite remarkable 40 minutes. Just watch them the rock. They're not, it's not clear release. They just go dragging and straight onto ball. Right. Well, there's there. another 40 to go after this, and we can hardly wait. It is half time at the Stade de France, and it's France who leads Scotland by 22 points to seven. Just a penalty. Oh, now Hugh Jones at pace. Jones still going. That's a powerful surge from the Glasgow Warrior. They're within five metres. Remember, the referee's still playing an advantage here to the Scots. Play advantage, yeah. Arm out again. You got a ball here. Yeah, you got an advantage. No, 
for France have been placed on a warning in the first half. On to Jones, and Jones gets it down. A second try in the match for Hugh Jones. Scotland by back. That is a massive try for Scotland. Again, it's the quality of this pass from Finn Russell. Their ball ability to push the ball to space. Time and time again, the footwork, the leg drive of Hugh Jones drives him up to the five. And this time, Scotland converting. Hugh Jones really is a player rejuvenated. He made such an impact yeah, in the first good. half of his test career. Then he lost his form a little bit. He left Scotland. He almost came to France at one point. Nearly signed for Bayonne, but there's been never any doubt about his attacking prowess. Ball in hand. And now outside to Pilotu at Glasgow Warriors. Finn Russell inside him as well. With Scotland, with time and space, he is absolutely frightening. Big moment there for Finn Russell. Scotland back with an eight. Holding up Dumortier. Well, it's smart play from Dumortier. What he did was prevent any chance that Scotland had of taking that quickly. On there to Ramos. Entermac slides it through to Belot, who's first onto it, straight back up to his feet. <laughs> Penalty goes Clearly against off Scotland. Clearly, off your feet. But he has been first pick thus far. And there is one illustration of just why. Substitution, eight and nine. Once again, the power of the Scottish scrum. Advantage. Another penalty advantage to the Scots. To Pilotu. It's there for Price. On to Russell. <laughs> Russell gets there. And now we have a serious contest. It is a test match for the ages. And the Scots just won't lie down. The initial damage done by Tupolotu and Finn Russell give the man a sniff, a three on two. Thanks, man. Taking the ball to the line again, the ball in two hands, works his way through. And busts over. Well, the sign says, please respect the kicker. And honestly, there's not much of that in Paris now, but Finn Russell's well used to it. He's knocked it over. Remove that. And there was a bit of back chat also from Scotland. And that has cost them a few metres. Time ebbing away. France within touching distance. Dupont on to Wadi. There's Dupont again. On to Fiku and Fiku clinches it for France. Thousands of flags being waved in the stands. A 13th test try in the magnificent career of Gael Fikou. Already named the player of the match. And if justification for that call was required, Fikou has now provided the seal. Tomo Ramos applies the final touch France have beaten Scotland
by 32 points to 21.